Riverside County sent black smoke billowing into the sky earlier today. It started in a mulch yard. The flames jumped a street and burned into a pallet yard. KCAL Line's Rick Montanez is live with more on that and the wind and power outages in the Inland Empire right now. Rick. And Susie, good afternoon. Yeah, this neighborhood here on the north side of Moreno Valley without power since last night. SoCal Edison shutting it off as the public safety power shut off to prevent wildfires. But look over my shoulder here. We want to show you in this neighborhood right now the trees. It shows that the winds here are no longer howling in this particular neighborhood. So the people who live here hope their power comes back soon. Howling Santa Ana winds today toppled a few big rigs on the 15 in Fontana. Strong gusts, a major concern for fire crews as much of Southern California is under red flag warnings right now. Firefighters made quick work on an industrial fire in Riverside where mulch and pallets ignited, sending huge plumes of smoke into the air. The concern with this was whipping wind, sending embers into the dry brush surrounding the fire. Around like 10 p.m., no power. I was watching Netflix and it shut down. Adrian Sandoval's neighborhood in North Moreno Valley without power since last night. SoCal Edison shut it off as part of the public safety power shutoff initiative to prevent electrical equipment from sparking a brush fire in these extreme conditions. They just need to tell us at least two hours ahead of time or something to prepare at least a little bit. Sandoval and other neighbors on Mountain Crest Drive wish they had received better notice of the shutoffs. There could be more planning involved as far as advising the people that are going to be impacted. Luis Cervantes just picked up a new generator to power his refrigerator and freezers. He's worried about preserving milk for his newborn. Food is food, right? But that, that's our biggest, that's our biggest concern right now. Conditions on this street much calmer than expected, so they hope the power comes back soon. But the windy conditions in other parts of the IE have a lot of people, including many truck drivers, taking extra steps to be careful until the danger blows over. These public safety power shutoffs are listed online by Southern California Edison, which as, as at last check, I should say, across the Inland Empire, there are nearly 30,000 customers without power, and that number could go up if conditions get worse. Southern California Edison does not list a time for when this neighborhood could get its power back. The website only saying that the power will come back on when conditions improve. Reporting live tonight in Moreno Valley, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News.